What if I told you that you can change the GPS location of your smartphone without actually moving to another place? And you could do that for multiple reasons. You know, you've got privacy concerns. Uh, you think you're being tracked and you just want to be safe. You don't want to share your location with someone or you want to access features or content that are geographically locked. There's a software that can do all of that. And with this software called Location Changer, you can completely spoof your smartphone's location. Just one click and you can teleport your smartphone's GPS to any place. You can simulate GPS movement along a route and even use it to fake location on apps. Now, sure, some of this can be done using VPN, but that only changes your IP address. If you really require your GPS coordinates to actually change, then you're gonna need this software. Okay, so here's everything it can do. It can hide your location, spoof your location, mock your location to benefit you on some apps that depend on GPS and even bypass geo-restricted content. And this software works for both iOS and Android. And if you see here, here's a list of all apps that can benefit from this functionality for iOS users and for Android users. All right, let me take you through this process step by step. So go into the link in the description and then click on try for free. It's gonna download the setup for you and just have to double click and launch it. It's gonna install that module for location changer and it's just gonna open up this window. Go into my modules and then click on activate because you do have to purchase the subscription for this to work. Just enter your email ID and the activation code that you would have received and click on login and that's it. And after this, you just have to follow the instructions that come on the screen as to how you need to configure your phone and the software to change your location. And the very first thing that you need to do is connect your phone to your laptop, PC or MacBook using the supplied cable. The software automatically identifies which phone it is and then it tells you in the next step. Of course, it's gonna be a little different for iOS. I have an Android phone and it's gonna make me want to turn on USB debugging. So for that, I just go into my phone and then in about, I tap build number seven times to unlock developer options. And if I go back, I'll see another option now, which is called developer options. And there I have to turn on USB debugging. Now, as soon as I do that, the software picks it up and establishes the connection successfully. And after that, you may get this screen and that's all right. Just click on automatic installation and it'll tell you what you need to do next. So go back into developer options on your phone and go all the way down to select mock location app and just make sure that you choose Dr. Phone. That's pretty much it. And right after that, you'll see the software uh, gives you the option to select a location. So I'm just gonna go and try San Mateo in California and see if that really works. Now this is somewhere in the sea or the ocean or a lake maybe, but I am gonna go and try and put it and pinpoint actually to a better location, for example, over here. And as soon as I click on move here, it gives me a warning. I'm just gonna click on still move. And let me check on my phone if that really works. So I'm gonna try and send my location on WhatsApp uh, to myself and just look at the location it's picking up. It's exactly the location that I just set in the virtual location changer uh, software on my computer. It just worked. And it's not just about changing location. I can actually simulate a GPS movement as if I'm moving on the map. So if you're sharing a location with someone, they would actually see you move. And if I go into one stop route option, choose my destination, I can choose the speed. So I can, you know, whether I'm cycling, or are you on a scooter or a bike or are you in the car and accordingly it's going to move on that path or the route that you just chose just look at that it's actually moving simulating a car speed and simulating a driving experience from point a to point b i mean this it, it's amazing and just like that if you have a multi-stop route even then you could just you know click on the multiple points on your map or you could just search for them and it's going to carve out a path and you can then again simulate for a cycle, a scooter, bike or a four wheeler and just simulate. All right, that's pretty much it guys. And if you're really interested in something like this, there's going to be a link in the description that you can follow through. There's going to be a button that says try for free. Just go at it. And remember guys, this software should only be used with the aim of protecting your privacy or anything that's permitted by law in your jurisdiction. Nothing beyond that. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.